Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a full face of TJ Maxx makeup. Um, this is not my first full face of TJ Maxx makeup. I have filmed one in the past, so I will leave that link down below so you can go check that out. I also have a bunch of TJ Maxx videos, like I have a couple playlists. Those will also be in the description box, so if you feel like binging some videos, go check those out after you watch this video. Um, so yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also ring the notification bell because I have so many fun videos coming out like oh I'm so excited <laughs> so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so I have all of the items that I'm going to be using today right here these are all from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls and some of these well actually most of this stuff is going to be a first impression except for like two things so um this should be an interesting video and I also want to mention that I got a comment on one of my other videos and they requested that I only use brushes as well that I purchased from TJ Maxx so I thought that this was a great idea so thank you so much for the suggestion and um, I was gonna go out and buy more but I didn't have time so um, the like tools that I'm going to be using today are the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I did get this from TJ Maxx. I get all of my Miracle Complexion Sponges from TJ Maxx because you can get a way better deal. You can get four for $12.99. And then I also have all of these BH Cosmetics brushes, which I purchased all of these at TJ Maxx. I purchased two like brush sets and they were like matching ones. So these are all from TJ Maxx, but they're all by the brand BH Cosmetics. So literally everything that I'm using today was purchased at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So let's go ahead and get started. For primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the Radiance Primer. So I have never used this before, but I have used the original one, and I do like the original one a lot. So let's give this a try. I do have very oily skin, if you were not aware of that, so the word radiance is a little bit concerning, but it, it's fine. Alright, so I have the primer on now, and it definitely gave my skin a really pretty glow. You can definitely see a little bit of like a peachy gold sheen, so I think that's really pretty. So we'll see how well that works under our foundation. So for foundation, I'm a little bit nervous um, just because I've never seen a single review or heard a single soul talk about this product before. So these are from First Aid Beauty. These are the Triple Protection Skin Tints with Goji Berry. So I have both of these here and I have the shades fair and medium so I'm gonna probably mix these by the way um the primer I'm trying to remember how much it was I believe it was like $2.99 or $3.99 but I don't have the price tag anymore so sorry about that but I don't think it was more than four dollars and these foundations were $9.99 each so well it's a skin tint actually so I'm guessing this is not gonna have very much coverage I love the packaging and I love first aid beauty so um, do you shake this? Yeah. Shake well before use, it says. So this is the fair shade, which is, looks like not too terrible actually. And then we'll swatch medium. So medium is definitely going to be way too dark. So what I'm going to do is pour some on the back of my hand and kind of mix the two shades, but definitely focus on the light shade because that's definitely more my color. So I don't really know how much of this I need. My skin still doesn't look great. <laughs> Obviously you can tell, but um, I have been trying a few different things and I am very optimistic about the products that I've been using. So um, I'm gonna try them out a little bit longer and then I'll let you know um, like my final thoughts after a longer period of time because it's only been about a week. So. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I need to add a little bit more product. So I'm going in with more of the light shade and then the medium. Okay, so obviously this foundation is not full coverage, but it doesn't claim to be full coverage. It does look really nice it doesn't feel heavy on my skin at all it feels very like thin and not like cakey or anything like that it definitely gave me quite a bit of coverage especially my redness but you can still see like my more recent breakouts and things like that so what's next concealer i was about to say powder we almost forgot to do concealer so for concealer i have this mark jacobs concealer this is the 
Remarkable Concealer in the shade 3 Young. And I haven't used this on my face yet, but I have swatched it, so let's give this a shot. Alright, so things are looking pretty good if you ask me. So now we're going to move on to powder and for powder I'm really nervous. <laughs> this powder is from Bare Minerals. This is the Mineral Veil, Mineral Veil Finishing Powder and I don't know if this has a shade. Um, I don't see a shade on the back of here but this is what it looks like. It's like one of the like limited edition holiday packaging ones. So oh, it actually looks to be pretty translucent. It looks kind of pinkish actually but um not sure if you can really see but it has like a slightly pink tint to it but um, I'm hoping that this just sets my face and doesn't add necessarily coverage because I don't want a pink tone to my face so I'm just using my Real Techniques sponge and I'm gonna set my under eyes and holy crap <laughs> this sorry there's a bus driving by actually it's a tow truck but anyway uh do you see what just happened when i set that it literally turned orange um yikes okay well i guess oh my god what the heck i hope that this is like picking up on camera i guess if my whole face is orange then it's better because <laughs> i'm using the powder to set my entire face by the way i purchased this powder from tj maxx for 9.99 now i'm gonna use my bh 125 brush and this was my go-to powder brush for so long because it doesn't leave stipple marks in your foundation when you use this but I haven't used this a single time since I got my bling brushes, so I'm honestly like, <laughs> I'm like sad that I'm not using my bling brushes today, but you know what? It's fine. I still really like this brush a lot. Okay, so it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. It actually like, it looks fine. Um, so this is like, holy crap, like there's no, no coverage over here um but like i said it's not a full coverage foundation so you're just gonna have to excuse that i'm sorry um so now i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face because i'm looking very powdery so i'm gonna be using the covergirl look lock up spray and this is from tj maxx it was 3.99 and i have never tried this before but i've heard like a lot of good things about it actually sorry my dogs are working it's definitely fragrance so this says it is an all-day setting mist, uh, microfine mist with a weightless, barely there feel, locks makeup in place all day, prevents makeup from smudging or settling into fine lines. So we'll see about that. You can literally see my sweat on my upper lip. That is not cute. Oh gosh. Okay, so honestly, not digging the base. I really don't think I like the powder at all. Um, the skin tints, I feel like would be good if you didn't set them with powder and it was like a summer day and you're like going to the beach and you need some SPF and some coverage then these are SPF 30 by the way then I think that this would be really good but like uh, it does not look good on my skin at all and like above my eyebrow it's like wiped away completely so it just looks really weird let me see if I can show you so I'm not sure if you can really tell but like right here there's like no nothing there like there was but now it's gone okay so next we're gonna use some bronzer and bronze this face up so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer I love this bronzer so freaking much it's so good and um, they this isn't like the old packaging which is why they're at TJ Maxx and you can find these for $12.99 $9.99 to $12.99 depending on how lucky you are <laughs> so I'm just going in with the BH Cosmetics 134 brush I'll try to find these brushes um, on the BH Cosmetics website uh, if I can like the sets that I bought just so you can like know what to look out for um, uh, at TJ Maxx or you can buy them from BH Cosmetics if you want I'm a, I'm a big fan of BH Cosmetics brushes I feel like they're definitely underrated holy moly I'm sweating so bad all right, so I love this bronzer so much. I think it looks really nice. I love the color on me. The Milk Chocolate Soleil is my favorite shade, personally. They have, like, the regular Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but my favorite is Milk Chocolate Soleil. So, um, I love this. This is, like, one of my favorite bronzers of all time. So now we're going to move on to blush. And for blush, I have this blush from 
physician's formula and I like freaked out when I saw this and you guys you heard the story of my haul so um yeah <laughs> this is the argan wear ultra nourishing argan oil blush and this was $3.99 from Marshalls and does this have a shade rose is the shade so this is what the product looks like it definitely has like a glitter overspray in there so I might just like take a brush and like wipe off the overspray just to like get it out of the way and that took no effort at all I'm actually just gonna use that same brush and then apply it to the cheeks it's a really pretty color it goes like really well with the sweatshirt that I'm wearing by the way I bought this sweatshirt off of Poshmark you guys know I love Poshmark <laughs> if you want to follow my closet it'll be linked in the description box well it won't be linked but my my username will be in the description box um it's awkward underscore blonde, super weird, I know. But anyway, um, I bought this off of Poshmark and it was actually from Trisha Paytas' Poshmark. I love Trisha Paytas so much. She is my queen. I am, I love her so much. I watch every single one of her videos. I wanna be her best friend. Like seriously, Trisha, like I, I wanna be your best friend. But anyway, this is from Wild Fox. So I just thought I'd show you. Um, it says La La Land 90210. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So um, yeah, I bought that from her. Poshmark a while ago and I literally love it so much I wear it all the time so um yeah I kind of went a little bit heavy-handed on the blush but it's fine I'm just gonna take like a plain clean brush and kind of go over it to try to diffuse the color I kind of look like I got punched in the cheek don't know how much I'm digging the color anymore Hmm. It's really pretty in the pan, but I feel like it looks very ashy and like bruise like on my cheek So we're gonna go ahead and move on to eyes so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. So I actually totally forgot that I don't have any eyebrow products from TJ Maxx. So I'm going to use the ones um, that I have right here. I've been loving my Joa Clear Brow Gel and the Precision Brow Pencil, but they're all the way in the other room and I really don't want to go get those. So we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I did not buy these at TJ Maxx. I bought them from Sephora. So... I'm just gonna kind of do my eyebrows really quick. Do you guys get your eyebrows waxed or threaded or do you just like tweeze them or do you do it yourself? I don't know, let me know. Um, I have recently started getting my eyebrows threaded because I feel like it looks a lot better than when I get them waxed, um, but it's so painful, like it's so painful. Like I literally cry, like my eyes are just like bawling tears because it hurts so bad. So yeah, let me know down below. Okay, so I just posted on my Instagram story asking you guys if this pencil breaks on you all the time and they everyone was like, you're pushing it out too much and I was like, okay, well, no, like I'm not. Like maybe the first time that it broke but then after that I literally put it like barely up enough to use it. Um, so I put this, the cap back on and then I put it in my drawer and I just got it back out to fix this little like little spot right there and then I, there's literally nothing and I'm like, wait, where'd it go? So then I tapped the cap on the table twice and then the like whole entire pencil that just came out and then I smushed it accidentally with the cap like do you see it right there that's so annoying like ah uh, this should not happen for such an expensive eyebrow pencil oh my god and now it's gone like it's empty so I'm gonna go get my Joa one so this is the Joa precision brow pencil and honestly like this is like just as good if not better in my opinion um, than the benefit one so uh, I definitely would recommend this. You can get it at CVS. It's literally so cheap. And it has a spoolie on one side and then a little tiny pencil on the other side. All right, so for eyeshadow, I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes here. Um, I have the W7 Life's a Peach palette, which I'm really excited to try this. I think that it's um, like really pretty. This was only $5.99 from TJ Maxx. And then I also have the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. And this was $17.99 from TJ Maxx. And a lot of you guys said that you really like this palette. So I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to use the Carly Bible one today and I'll save the peach one for another video. So um, if you guys are curious about the peach palette, I'll definitely talk about it in another video. So we're going to go in with this palette. I think the packaging on it is so cute. This is like the deluxe one, the deluxe edition. So this isn't like the original one, um, but they don't sell us on BH Cosmetics website anymore. So I guess that it's discontinued. So I just have a bunch of eye brushes here. 
from BH Cosmetics. So we're gonna use this like, kind of like fluffy flat top brush. This is the 139. And I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. Oh crap, I forgot to put my, post my video. Oh, I gotta go do that. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go post my video. I just posted my organizing my entire makeup collection video. So go check that out if you haven't already. I will leave it linked in the description box. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is just like a deeper brown. And oh, I just went in with the same brush. I don't wanna use that. I wanna use a different brush. Now I'm gonna use this one, which is kind of like a flat top brush. I don't know why they're all like flat top and like really dense. This one is 120. So I'm gonna go into that brown shade and then put this in the crease as well. I'm also gonna kind of like stamp this in the outer corner. This brush is like not the thing to use for this. It actually like, I love this. I love using this brush for stamping product on my lid, but it's not good for like blending in the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to use, hmm, what shade should I use? I think I might use this one right here. This is like a really pretty shimmery shade. It looks, whoa, it actually looks really pretty. So I'm gonna use that. And for the brush, I'm gonna use the 141, which is this like, this is kind of fluffier than I want it to be, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna use a dry brush and see how this goes. I might just try to go in with my finger and see if that, oh yeah, that's like, a million times better. If you guys are new to my channel, I do so many TJ Maxx videos. It's like not even funny. I do hauls, I do shop with me's, I do full face of TJ Maxx videos. Like I love TJ Maxx. It's literally one of my favorite stores of all time besides Sephora. It's my favorite store. I love finding good deals um, on high-end makeup. I used to work at TJ Maxx even so. Okay, I don't know why I was like fanning my eyes as if it was gonna like dry, but it's powder so. Um, okay, so I feel like this is nothing spectacular, but like, it's cute. So I'm actually gonna use this brush, this is like an angled brush. This is the 121. And I'm gonna just go into this like matte cream shade and um, just kind of like clean up this outer edge and kind of like blend it out a little bit better so it's not so harsh. All right, so I'm just, there is a little bit of fallout, so I'm just gonna dust that off. I think it's from the me using my finger to apply the eyeshadow. So um, they have highlighters in here, which I am going to use one of these highlighters. But I also have this. This is from Stila. This is the what is this called? Glitter and Glow highlighter, um, and this is in the shade Monarch. And this is like kind of like a pinky purpley shade. I don't know if I want to use this or not. I kind of like really want to use it. It's like so glittery, like hello. <gasps> but I'm gonna use a powder highlighter first. And I know you're not supposed to mix powders or creams on top of powders, but we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is the 140 um, BH Cosmetics brush. It's a little bit wonky right now. <laughs> and we're gonna go in with this shade, this big like shade right here. And that's a highlighter and I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna use that little brush that kind of looks like a concealer brush, the 142. And I'm gonna go in with that highlighter shade that we used on our face. And I'm gonna like apply this to my brow bone and my inner corner. So, I mean, we went pretty basic on the eyes today. Um, I mean, the palette, I feel like it's a pretty basic palette. I mean, it's just like, there's a couple of fun pops, like this like pinkish kind of shade and some purpley tones, but it is a pretty neutral palette, so I just kept things neutral. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara, and I'm gonna be using the W7 Absolute Lashes Mascara in the shade Blackest Black, and I have never tried anything from W7, but I, ha I bought the eyeshadow palette as well to try. 
um, in another video. This was $2.99 from TJ Maxx. So it looks kind of like the Benefit Their Real mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It actually looks, I mean, it's pretty spiky, but it doesn't look too bad. So let's see how this goes. So I can already tell you that the brush feels kind of spiky on my, like, my eye, like the edge of my eyelid, like, uh, it kind of hurts. Okay, so this is one eye mascara. <laughs> I said that in another video and you guys are like, what are you saying, Paige? <laughs> this is one eye with mascara and then this is the eye without mascara. Not my favorite mascara I've ever tried, but it's not bad. Um, it is kind of uncomfortable to use though, which I'm not the biggest fan of. All right, so I'm just now realizing that I didn't grab anything for lips. So I'm gonna go into my beauty room and pick out a lip to apply. All right, so I'm going to be using the Nude Lips 28 Color Lipstick Palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I I think this might have been like $5.99 or $6.99, I'm not 100% sure, and I do not have a lip brush from TJ Maxx, so I am going to use my Blinged Brushes lip brush. This is the L1 is what it's called, so I'm trying to like figure out what color I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna go for this one. I love lip palettes, like literally, I feel like nobody likes lip palettes. I don't know why. I mean, I know why. It's kind of inconvenient, but like, I feel like the possibilities are endless with lip palettes. And I really like this one from BH Cosmetics. I had one and then the packaging broke on it, so I had to throw it away, but then I saw another one at TJ Maxx, so I bought it again. Okay, yep, love that so much more. So the ones that I used were this shade right here is the one I used first. And then I used this one right here just to kind of like put on top and mix it a little bit. So I'm going to, oh, the highlighter. Mm, should I use this? Okay, I should use it. Should I apply right to my face or I don't know. I've never used this before. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is before, which this highlighter is really pretty from the um, Carly Bible palette, but holy moly, okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is the finished look that I got from this full face of TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup. So just to recap, the items that I do not like um, are the Bare Minerals Powder. I will try it with other foundations um, just to see if maybe it was like the skin tint combo with this that I didn't like. But um, wasn't a fan of this. It literally, it also like made my foundation so much darker than uh, it, before I put the powder on. So don't know how I feel about that. I hate the blush, <laughs> not to be mean. <laughs> um, I don't hate it. I just don't like the color. The formula was fine, um, but I really don't like the color on me personally. I feel like it lo looks too ashy and cool toned. So not a big fan of that. The mascara, I think it's all right. Like it looks really pretty on my eyelashes, but it is kind of uncomfortable to apply because the bristles are kind of long and they're very stiff. So if you don't like a stiff brush, then I would not recommend this product. Um, but it does look really pretty. So if you want to like fight through the pain, it's not pain, it's just like uncomfortable. So um, don't know how I feel about the mascara. Probably wouldn't repurchase that. Uh, but the glittery highlighter I love, the lip palette I love, the BH Cosmetics eye palette I really do enjoy and I think it's really pretty especially for like natural everyday makeup. I think that that would be a really great palette for literally anybody. Um, and then the bronzer I love, the primer I really like, the setting spray I really like. Oh and the concealer, it literally hasn't creased under my eyes at all and that is a huge problem that I have with concealers so I'm really excited to continue to use this Marc Jacobs concealer. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so so much. If you have any video requests please leave them in the comments below. Um, this is my second full face of TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup so if you haven't seen the first one I will leave that link down below as well as my uh, TJ Maxx haul playlist and my shop with me playlist. So I love you guys so so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!